YouTube, what's up, man? This is more salary cap gameplay. It's that time of the year. The last chance tournament is going to be in a couple weeks here, probably about a month now. But the leaderboards are about to open, so everybody's getting reps, getting their salary cap team ready. It's going to be the top 32 that, that finish are going to qualify for this tournament. It's a huge deal. Everybody's trying to lock in, and I'm playing a game against K-Mac here. K-Mac won the last Mutt Head Friday Night Football Tournament. Uh, been one of the best players all year. Finished runner-up in the Arizona Club Series. He runs a little spread offense, a little bit different, uh, but he's definitely on the up-and-come and was one of the first ones that definitely started running that over-G defense that you know he kind of made popular, and uh, he still runs it to this day. So he's definitely a good player. And, but like you said, I kicked it out of bounds just spamming A, kicked out of bounds the first play. That's definitely not what you want to do against a good player. But uh, I played this game live on my Twitch chat probably a couple nights ago. If you want to watch them live, you guys already know the link is in the description, man. If you see the high ball hitch, man. If you're not adding a high ball hitch or the high ball curl to your offense, you're kind of missing out. Here he tries to go high, Jamal Adams. We saw him in the last video making big plays. This Jamal Adams 67 clap is really killing for me. Get him to a third and three. Nowhere for him to throw. Takes a sack, but gets the ball away. Now, this is interesting because he's going to go for it on fourth down here. I send the crib. He finds a dot right there by Cam Chancellor. Jamal Adams holds it out of the end zone. He could have took three there, but he went for it, man. And if you're going to go for it, you need to capitalize and score a touchdown because you risk not getting any points when you could have took your three. But now this is the hardest place, place to score. That there, I spy, I'm spying. I believe that's Ramsey I spied. Yeah, it's Ramsey. I'm in Dollar, and he's the one in the spy. So I definitely, I sent him a little early right there. He's going to take off with Vic, but luckily gets hit. So he went for it on fourth down to try to get seven, but wound up taking his three anyway. That's huge, man. Hold a good player to three points, man. It's definitely an advantage. First play, I get sacked by Nickerson. I see he has Nickerson, that new uh, team builder, I believe, and he's got him in the slot. And I'm assuming he has John Madden coach. Probably has him chemmed up to 98 speed. As you see him running this over G, looking for those loops, man. If you guys played against that over G, when you get the little loops, it's really hard to block. Here, fourth and two, I go for it. He plays great defense. Man's up the right people. But I definitely find some back, somebody coming back to the ball. Hold Y to come back to the ball. Run away from the defender. Hold Y to catch that pass right now. Like I said, you see uh, K-Mac has a lot of fast DBs. Has a lot of good hitters, but his defensive line, he tanks his defensive line as I hit this comeback route over here to Julio Jones. First down, I want to be able to score here on the first drive, especially since I held him to three. This play, I have plenty of time in the pocket. can take off and actually get tackled right here by, I believe, that's Shaquem Griffin. No, I don't know who 48 is, but like I said, he doesn't have the best D-line. As I run up in the pocket, throw it back, high ball. Like I said, the high ball curls, high ball hitches, Megatron Johnson, bang, Touchdown, Joe Mixon running in the end zone, man. That's a great first drive. Came up big on that fourth down, being able to get the, get the pass when he played good defense, get the protection to hit that guy coming back. Uh, next drive, I think I go to a little more uh, dollar. He's running this pistol bunch and hits me with the spin move. I tried my best to really stop that strafe. But, uh, or stop that spin, but my strafe just didn't work out. But Jalen Ramsey hustles down there, makes the tackle. I hold him to the 11-yard line. Next play, we get the sack right there, sending the spy at the right time. Hard to score here at the 11-yard line. Runs a little verts. Once again, I'm spying Brian Dawkins. He can run and make the plays. He's fast enough to spy Vic. Rushing three, man. It's hard to find somebody to throw the ball to. Here he is scrambling with Vic in an ill-advised throw. Jalen Ramsey says, give me that. Stop him right there. Now the game is in my hands. All I got to do is go ahead and score a touchdown. I get the ball at half. Little playmaker. I want to get a first down, too, to make sure he doesn't get the ball back at all. Next drive, we break a sack with Vic, man. That's why you have him. And a little juke right there. Get by him. But like I said, he tanks his D-line. All just fast guys. Really not shedders. They're all pretty bad players. And here he gives me one. Julio Jones up top. I recently downgraded my Julio Jones, so he only has 96 speed. Does not get, get it done. But here I want to use some clock. Don't really need to mix in, but he drops it. I want to make sure he doesn't get the ball back here, but I still want to score a touchdown. Go with the draw right here. He's going to use another timeout. He has one timeout left. I can't really do an incomplete right here. I uh, don't really have anything. Try to take off with Vic, but I definitely get sacked. Makes him use his last timeout. That's important. Kick my field goal is 10-3, to 3, man. I get the ball at half. I feel okay. Can't give up any points here. In the first play, he throws the ball. Great dot right there over Jalen Ramsey. He stays in bounds, though. I thought he'd be in field goal range already here. Maybe he doesn't carry a kicker. This would be about a 56-yard field goal. But he comes out back in four wide receivers, so he's back in spread. 
Right now, I know it's the last play. I can't let him hit the sideline. Uh, I'm cool on the short side. I'm going to just guard the wide side here for a corner route. Runs four verts. I'm just running back. Tries to thread the needle, but we have enough coverage there. Overthrow. Gave up that deep corner route, but did not give up any points. That's huge. Second half, I get the ball first. All I want to do is score points, man. It's a four-minute quarter game. If I can go up 13-3, to three, I'll feel okay. I'll be up two scores. That's really important right now as far as, you know, obviously the game, especially if I can take two to three minutes off the clock, maybe get into the fourth quarter with the score 13-3. to three. I'm fine with that. First play, I get sacked. He gets that glitchy pressure around the edge. You see, Leon Jacobs is a 19-cap bronze or silver or something like that. And Vernon Davis runs over Steve Atwater. That's 62-cap Vernon Davis. Next play, first and 10. Looking for this crossing route. We're able to thread the needle dot on the sideline to Randy Moss over top of McCourty. Uh, next play, we're just going to try to scramble. He actually grabs me right as I get up get up in the hole there. Pause. Uh, Mixon fights. 26 cap Mixon fights through Sean Taylor. Get me in the field goal range. Going to milk a little bit of clock. Get a third and six. I'm going to hit this drag right here. Vic got rid of the ball. No gunslinger. Stay in bounds. Let this clock run. Now I'm firmly in field goal range. Let's just go ahead and try to get this to the fourth quarter. I'd love to get another first down right here, but I'm cool. And here I am with a late little read over there to Vernon Davis. Incomplete. I got to keep my feet in there just to keep the clock running. Third down. Go for the high ball on the wheel route, but Atwater was not having it. So I didn't take too much more time off the clock. Get my field goal. I'm up 13-3. I feel good. Now no big plays. Got to make him use some clock. And here we go. First play, we get the intentional grounding. Feel great, man. That's going to make it second and 20-plus. Huge play right there. Next play, we scream at him. He dumps it off to Dalvin Cook. Good strafe making a tackle so he can't get any more yards. Still got 13 on that. Third and 10, I got a little risky uh, taking out my flat zone. Think he'd go with all posts, but he hits an out route right there. Huge play. Next down, throws it away, man. I'm playing really good defense. Just trying to sit in cover three. Make him try to find him somewhere to go with the ball. Brian Dawkins comes on the loop. Gets him to a third and ten. Next play, throws the drag underneath. Marlon Humphrey, 34 cat player with a huge tackle. Get to a fourth down, man. I'm going to cover this left side. Got to cover this corner route. I'm on the corner route. Hits the post. Great throw, man. That's a nice play. Jamal Adams nowhere to be found. And Cam Chancellor has to bring down Vernon Davis. End of the fourth quarter, Brian Dawkins gets him on the loop again. I wish I could just get this to work every single time. Next play, he's actually go ahead and hit. He gets his me again with no flat zone. Hits the little drag over there. Gets it to the 12-yard line. Can't give up a touchdown. Here I send my spy, Ella Visley. Gets through spin move and, of course, Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor, that's my 87 cap. 99 hit power, 99 tackle. Just carried Vic from the 5-yard line into the end zone instead of ending him with a hit stick. But now I just got to run the clock out. Huge dot there to Randy Moss. Stay in bounds. That's going to run 30 seconds off the clock right there. Huge that I stayed in bounds. We're going to break down this part with no edits just to let you guys know what I thought about as far as closing out this game. I had the lead. Would love to get another field goal. Obviously, a touchdown pretty much ends the game right here. But because I'm in bounds right now, I can definitely run the clock down. And ideally, I'd like to run the clock down below 2 minutes and 30 seconds because that would take – you know, the next step to the two-minute warning. But I really can't do that. But I have to make sure I don't throw an incomplete here. It's really important to not throw an incomplete because if I do keep the clock running, the next play certainly will get me to the two-minute warning. So that's pretty much what you got to think about. It's pretty much about the what, what the time is going to be after the play. Slide down before the first down. You slide down before the first down because it just takes more time off the clock. And now I have pretty much two plays, either second and one or third and one, that I can go ahead and get this first down. It's just going to take more time off the clock. As you see, this is going to get below 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I want to snap the ball at 2 minutes and 30 seconds because then this is pretty much an automatic run for me because it's going to automatically take it to the two-minute warning. And that's going to put me in a spot where one first down will pretty much win this game because he's going to get to a point where he has to use his timeouts. Here we go. First down. I fall down. Joe Mix is not going to take any hits. So now we're pretty much in field goal range. I have a 15-cap kicker and Will Lutz. So he can probably cash this from right here. But I'm going to take it to a two-minute warning. Now, because of that... One first down, he's going to be into his timeouts, man. I don't want to get K-Mac the ball back. I don't want to have to deal with that spread offense, man. This is all about game management and making sure that I end the game right here. One first down will pretty much do it. Got to keep it uh, keep it pretty uh, 
pretty, what's gonna call it, pretty safe. No need to take some big chances. But I will pass the ball because I feel like in these situations, the easiest time to pass the ball is on first down. That's when they'll be expecting to run the most, and it'll be the easiest time to snap. As you see, he crossmans everybody, almost all pick. Threw that zig route into a hard flat. But what I did was hold wide. And the reason why aggressive catch is so good is because they aggressively come back to the ball. And because of that, he'll come in front of the DB and he'll be able to, you know, catch the ball and won't allow you to throw a pick. I threw it a little before he got to the flat zone. Definitely wasn't the read, but I'll come back to a similar thing. If he's going to hard flat that outside guy, I'm going to look for this comeback route. That's pretty much what I want. There's two reads on the right. I want that flat route or I want the comeback route. Last play, he hard flatted that corner and would have left that comeback route wide open. So I'll see if he does that again. I also have this backside drag. Look, he hard flats, mans up, and Calvin Johnson kills him. I also snapped that ball three seconds. Now he's going to get into his timeouts. That's exactly what we want. Bang. So two more runs, he'll use his timeout. And the third one, I can pretty much take this to around 45 seconds if I play it right. Even if I run three times, we'll be at 45 seconds, and, the, and then I can kick a field goal. He'll, I'll be up six with about 40 seconds left. I want to get another first down, though. So we're going to run the same play. I have two reads. That time, he just it was easy right there, and Calvin Johnson holds on. That's a first down. Now he's, the game's really over because, he, like I said, he's got one timeout. And he pretty much, I mean, I can run the ball three times. I'm certainly on conservative here. You see, sometimes people don't go on conservative. But we're just going to run three times, man, and show you just real conservative play right here. If I get in the end zone good, obviously I'll take it because then I'll be up, what, I'll be up 10 points and the game's pretty much cooked. But even if I don't, I'm perfectly fine with running this. And the, the, I mean, this game's over. It's to the point where he can almost quit. But, and right there, we get tackled inside the one-yard line. Bang, Joe Mixon. This is going to work out perfectly for me. We're going to get to the line again. We're just going to run again. Uh, pro obviously, we're going to milk this down as much as we can because if I do get tackled, I, I don't even know if I would kick the field goal. It's too dangerous to risk getting it blocked, but we run in the end zone for the touchdown. Up 10 points, 36 seconds left on the clock. Easy to play off defense like this. In the first play, Miles Garrett, we flip on aggressive in this situation and we get the sack. Next play, the same thing. He's going for the big play. Looking for it. Playmakers, this guy up. Send the DB. He's going to throw back across his body, come back to the ball. But we're going to go ahead and make this tackle with Kyle Fuller. Eight seconds left on the clock. Quickly calls a play. I don't even think he's going to get to the line right here, man. That's why you always just try to get them yards. Go down before the first down so you get second and ones. Third and ones is way easier to convert and easier to take time off the clock if you manage the downs correctly and kind of, you know, use the advantage you have. You always have an advantage when you're winning and you're on offense. It's such an advantage, even more so when it's under two minutes, even more so when it's the fourth quarter, man. And, I mean, so good game to K-Mac, man. He's one of the best players out right now. Hopefully uh, he's going to go ahead and qualify for the last chance tournament and we give him a chance to play against the best, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's really about uh, executing late in the game, man. I did a good job this game. Some games I don't, man. It's up and down. But if you want to watch him, hit that twin link below. Any offense and defense that you've seen, madinturf.com, that link is below in the chat. Please hit that like button, comment button, subscribe, bell button needed.